Style is a of saying who you are without having to speak. Clothes are like a great meal, a good movie, and great pieces of music. Looking fabulous and classy is what fashion is all about. A flashy and stylish wedding day is almost every girl's dream. From the wedding gown to the decor and the bling bling, every bride needs to nail it. My name is Sylvia Owori. Welcome to the Style Project. Every bride loves to look good and very memorable. Tonight, we look at the most trendy wedding gowns. We shall also have a little knowledge about what to consider when choosing a wedding gown. Joining us on the show tonight is the beautiful Anita. Welcome to the show, Anita. Thank you so much. Anita, tell us about yourself. I'm Anita Beryl Ahikiriza. I am a fashion designer. I mainly do wedding dresses and evening gowns. And I own a fashion house called Beryl Couture. Wow. Yes. Wow, we're so very excited to have you. And today, of course, we're talking gowns. Yes. We're talking wedding gowns. I am absolutely happy to be here. Thank Why you did so you decide much. to do wedding gowns? I think I was more of a fairy tale girl and I loved the fancy feeling that comes with a wedding dress. It's a once in a lifetime kind of event and you get to wear it just one, like one day in, in, in your whole life. And for me, I wanted to create something that was going to make someone, make like such a big impact on someone's life. Mm. Yeah. Well, Clay. You're the youngest on the panel, I think, and you're not married yet. What is your dream, dream wedding dress? What would you like to wear? What, what do you fantasize about? I'm actually right there right now. <laughs> I would want the trail so long, so long that I have a huge distance between me and me. Cathedral body. long, like uh, your favorite. Yes. Kate Middleton. Kate Middleton. <laughs> Kate Middleton's yes. cathedral long uh, gown. Kate Middleton long gown. Oh Ten. my goodness, yes. yes. Mm. And does that take like a lot to do that? Yeah, absolutely. It takes so long to do, but also it's it's for that. So that means that you really want to be like a very traditional bride because I mean, at this point and in this time, the very long train is like extremely long and not very practical like at so the moment. So it's yeah. more of a matter of convenience. Yes. The, the, the styles now are much more easier, much more simpler. The silhouette is really, really simple. Like it's no longer that very, very long time. But you still have people that really want to stay traditional and they want the very huge ball gowns with rings inside and extremely long chains. Yeah, but you can still wear the, the cathedral because it's called the cathedral because it just covers almost the whole church. Yeah, yeah. You can still wear it that, yeah, so then after the church and mm -hmm. you can take you it can off yeah, yeah, and still have it. So, so that it's, it's, it's more yeah. like a detachable Yes. Dress. Yeah. That comes with a detachable uh, kind of dress although I must say actually a lot of people now are doing it so you have a very simple dress but then on top of the like at the back of the dress you only just attach the, 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 the long uh, the, the long chain mm. or better yet just keep it simple and then do a very long cathedral veil That's the other way of doing it. what what would you like to see your woman on your wedding day what would you like to see them wear what kind of dress? I'm more of a very, very practical person. I do not want a lot in the way. I take clear this, I can move this way. So I'm basically just looking at something really simple. So in case you need to, you know, carry her and swing her around, you do not have a train in your face. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, when it has a very long train and you need to be in a, let's say, a longer charge mm. than you require. So for it to actually really come out very beautifully. Because when you find like you have a very small aisle and mm. literally the train is not even fitting in, 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 the, in the whole area. Mm. And you have, and then that, if you're doing like, let's say a boil gown, a very large boil gown, mm. usually what happens is that the man is standing right here and the, there's space for the dress and so. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you have got to keep leaning yeah. to the guy, which is, which is, quite not like it's not very romantic what kind of gowns do you specialize in Anita? 
I don't have a very specific type because I deal with clients. Everyone walks in with their own dream in mind. And so I just try to advise on what I think is going to work for them. Mm -hmm. But usually I cannot stick to what I want because I'm working for them. But if I'm doing, like, say, a collection for myself, I usually try to keep it very simple. Like, I don't do too much or onto the, well, for starters, it's very expensive. <laughs> it's taking so much fabric. Yes. But also, I try to keep it really sweet and romantic and, you know, play around with the details rather than have a lot of clothes going on. Well, let's have our very first model in Beryl Couture. Wow. Wow, it's beautiful. So Anita, can you explain to us what's the inspiration for this gown? Um, for this gown, it was um, basically came from a client that I was uh, you know, trying to make it for. And uh, the way you see it, like each and every lace that is applied here has actually been cut out of a large piece of lace and you know, hand applied to the dress. And we went for the very high neckline because she did not want, she was going to a church and churches these days have decided to be very crucial. Very conservative. Yeah, They're actually telling you what you need to wear. Yes, what you should wear. yes, yes. They actually do not want anything showing. So I just, and she didn't want to have a jacket on top because it kind of looks really tacky if you have to do a jacket on, on top of a dress. So we decided to do a very high neckline and try to, you know, beat it with crystals, make sure it doesn't, and then have a little bit of ruffles here just so it could, you know, try to be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But it really flattered her, her, her chest extremely very well. And, um, and then the back as well, because she really loved an open back. And there is no way we we're going to have her. <laughs> we we're not going to have her in an extremely open back, because for starters, church did not allow it. But also, she was a bit conservative, especially with the in-laws and all. So we decided to cover the back, but have like an illusion kind of, 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 of effect. And then still, you know, have it have beads all over and then have cute buttons. Every single bride now loves the buttons. Mm -hmm. So you have got to have those. Some want them so long I think long it's until. cheating because everybody yeah. can think <laughs> that, oh, did you sit there and literally um, <laughs> stitch them? But, but they're just basically put on top. Yeah, oh they're yeah. They're just a design so you, detail. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, minus the, the lace appliques, it's just tool. Mm -hmm. It's just plain tool. So you only have just cut these and apply them so you kind of want to do the bead works as you apply them so you don't have to repeat the whole thing. Yeah, when I look at the accessorizing, I noticed yeah. like back in the day there were the, you know, conventional tiaras. Like yes. You don't see quite a lot these days. Yeah. What happened to the tiara? Oh my goodness, the tiaras I think stayed for queens and <laughs> and, <laughs> and Barbie dolls. Oh, the I veil. So. What happened to the veil? The veils are still there, and a lot of people really love the veils. I, we don't have the veil on this one right now because, um, well, we didn't carry one. But, <laughs> yeah, but we and wanted to show the back uh, quite nicely as well. But the veils are very much there, and we usually have to do, like they say, the very um, long veils. Everybody loves those. Actually, what is off now is the short veil. Like, nobody wants the short veil. You know what I would like? Yeah. If I, if I were to wear a dress like this, yeah. I would want a veil that is yeah. basically a little longer than the tail. Yeah, actually, like a specific uh, veil for this one is one that has is extremely long yes. and has lace edges, the same laces exactly that are here. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, she only just wears it to church, and then right after church, they take them yeah, off. Yeah, that's exactly what I would wear. Yeah, so for her who <laughs> wants a very long train, I don't know how you're going to deal with it after church. No, or maybe that calls for a second dress. She'll just take it. <laughs> no, just take it and can we see our next gown? <laughs> okay, for this one, uh, we still have lace appliques, but the, the, the lace is just a little bit different from the other one. Mm. The other one is hard, it's kind of hard and stronger, but this one is quite soft and all. And I mean, um, it's, it's, it has two sides that are extremely different. Mm. So she walks in with all of this, more like um, a basic kind of dress, mm. and uh, with, of course, still. We're trying to keep as traditional as we can, or as obedient as we can for the churches, especially. Mm -hmm. And um, 
you walk in quite well, but you know, usually what happens is that you have a very beautiful front of the dress, and usually when you get to the back, it's quite boring. Like it's, you, you, you're like, oh, okay, cool, that's the... Well, is that all we, you say? Yeah, like, like that's oh. just about it. So you only want to see the bride at the front, but when it comes to the back, you're like, oh, I know already what is there. Yeah. But when it comes to this one, I had to make a completely different back from the dress, from the front. So the details are different, the, the little panels and the, lead, the, the, the type of net that I used for here is a lot different from the front. So it gives you like a fresh feel. No, so you wanted like, to achieve that. Yes. When I walk into a church, yeah. what, what you see at the front is yeah. basically almost what you see from the back. Exactly. Yes, like I, I don't want, like well, I want well, you. I yes, think, exactly. I think the panels like, are, are, are very clever because they help accent you with that. Oh yeah, and then for and you know, calves, if it is, for those who have little calves, because <laughs> it makes you do rather than buy them, we could always just do something with the dress. <laughs> it gives you a bit of a, a bum. yeah, but it's something that could keep you know even the guests quite interested in the dress. Like you don't want to look once and like ah oh, okay cool, she just passed. That's just this about kind of it. dress. I saw yes. you've done the dresses without the sleeve. Well, how would you style that, Solomon? Would you wear gloves? Well, I'm all for you know less is more. I'll probably just go with. Clip-ons or mm, stars. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, diamantes that are uh, coordinated. And plus the gloves are a little bit, I think, also outdated. Claith here, yeah. who needs to get married <laughs> soon, I think. Yes. Is, <laughs> she's, Claith here is shopping <laughs> for her wedding <laughs> dress. That will take us to a very short commercial break. We'll be right back with more wedding dresses. <laughs> Welcome back from the break. We're still continuing with more wedding gowns. Yep. Let's see gown number three. Hey, oh. that is on your king first. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, close to someone who wants, uh, let's say, that whole princessy feel. Because mm. the, the flare at the bottom is quite huge and can actually get even huger than that, mm. uh, depending on how much uh, uh, petticoat you have, how many rings are in the petticoat that you put in and um, a little bit of show off for the back as well. Yes. And, um, and still you won't be able to be chased out of church because I have had an incident once and we did a very beautiful wedding dress for someone and it was a strapless one. And when they go to the church, they had to get like, you know, lining, like the usual lining from their, <laughs> their vestry or something. They and covered they her. To cover up. Yes. Oh, yes. I have never gotten over that. <laughs> And so I, I decided I needed to try and keep that in mind as, as, as I deal with the clients as well. Is yeah. the actual gown supposed to be white? Um, Can you just do Not necessarily. Uh, the gown color is, is really entirely about the personality of the, pers of, of, of the bride. Yes. Because a lot of them, yes, do the white, but you know, traditionally the whites are supposed to be for, you know, virgins. Virgins, exactly. exactly. That's what they say. Yes. That's, why me, I, I, that's why I chose a cream dress because I wasn't. <laughs> Let's have a look at the oh next my dress. <laughs> Mm. Okay, wow. now there you go. <laughs> that is like pure, this is, pure. This is like pure white. Yeah. This is like it's snow white. And, and, and I mean the silhouette is completely different now from the other one. I don't see a lot of Ugandan brides wearing this because I mean usually you want so much. But I, I see them wearing it for the after party, like you know, after the very huge yes, gown yes, and yes, stuff yes. like that. This and is beautiful. To wear that. The back as well is, is extremely open and I mean the sleeves that you want because you're imagining that after the party after the I mean after the, the, the whole ceremony and all it's, it's it's now chilly it's in the evening so you can you can afford the sleeves now yeah. you know what I would do and that dress I would actually wear it in a pink or a red and I just wear the red carpet I know <laughs> I know <laughs> I know. But I love the plunging neckline. Yeah, yeah. A little it's bit. It's very classic. It's very timeless. Yeah. yeah. And I think yeah. the whole cut of the dress and the idea is vintage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then that gets offset by the whole, you know, cutouts at the back and yeah. the plunging neckline. Yeah. But also, you have to have nice boobs. Thank you. That's why I was telling you earlier. Because <laughs> the back, you can't wear a bra. You have got to have a small chest. 
<laughs> yeah, this is for like yeah. this is because like for a very small bride, mm -hmm. small girl. Yes, a very Not small girl. And then you still need to be small at the top, but then be able to have a little bit of hips around down there to give you a bit of a shape. But you can always change it, right? According to a client. If yeah, somebody absolutely. wanted the back covered, they would have their back covered. Yeah, then they would order theirs covered. They don't have to take this exact one. But this is yeah. for the simple dress. I'm going to the beach, you Absolutely. know, I'm having my wedding at Thank the beach. Thank you, yeah. Uh, you know, just like uh, the register weddings. Yes. The very, very basic, simple. And yeah. they're very common these days. On this, we have, we usually, like, if you have to really, well, for Ugandan churches, I'm not so sure you're going to appear in this. Because, plus, I mean, that plunging neckline, they shall chase you right <laughs> the door. Yes. <laughs> right out of church, you're showing too much romance to love church. I know. <laughs> I know. Very this good. gown, right, I could also put on a train. One could also put on a train. Yes. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it has a train that is detachable. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so you, you have it flowy and all. But then another day, and this is also for people who buy their own wedding dresses. Because when you have bought this, at a later stage, it's an easy dress for you to wear. For your wear again. And, and yes. And yeah, go anywhere with it. Have a look at our final wedding gown. Wow, and Anita, it where? I okay. love, love that train. That's the train that I was talking about, that if I were to get married now, that is what I would wear. If my my, my son were to have a, <laughs> a wife. Well, that's all she would wear, your wedding gown. I know, I right? <laughs> I would definitely make sure I design it, and this is what it would look like. I would love the very long yeah, chair. Yeah, a very long chain. And it's, it's quite, it's detachable too. I mean, she could just take it off and enjoy her evening and her party quite well. We kind of moved on from the satin at one point and everybody went lace, tulle and taffetas. And now I think when you get back to the, to the, to the satin, which we had before, it becomes like it looks more refreshing now. You feel like, oh, it, it's simple, it's clear, it's clean. Like you don't have so much going on and it's like it's so plain. But that's that's gonna be for a very really but, but it is bride. fashion is fashion. Yeah. Fashion is always revol yeah. evolving. Exactly. And yeah, we've gone back to that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the net. So I used to design wedding dresses, but yeah. then I used to get extremely emotional. And I was <laughs> I cry up today. Oh, you try yes. and I was tearing when I met the exactly. gown and somebody wore it and I was crying. I cry all the time. I was crying and then I kept imagining and I'm thinking, I wish they don't divorce. I wish they don't separate. Oh. So I felt it was so emotional. There was so much emotion yeah. involved in designing wedding the gowns and I exactly. totally stopped it. Yes. What is the determining factor for someone looking for a suitable wedding gown? Is it the, the hard skin tone, the body, the shape of the body? or? I think that before the skin tone, the most important part of that is the body, your body shape. Mm -hmm. Because when you realize the kind of shape you have, for starters, it determines the kind of silhouette you're going to have for the dress, even before. And then you can then go to, to, the, to the other details of, of, of the whole dress. Because if you're like, let's say, a plus size and you have a bigger chest and all, pulling off a dress like this is going to be extremely hard. Because, I mean, if you look at the back, it's, it's literally bare and it's Turn being around. held by, you know, it, it, it's, it's only supported by just that one string of laces. You so can that, that dress mm -hmm. is for a small girl. Yeah, so you want to be small and shapely. If and I was a plus size, yeah. this, that's this not, that be. dress is not for a plus size. Yeah. This dress can be can for any size. Thank you, yes. Can you turn mm -hmm. around? Because you see, it's forgiving at the back, mm -hmm. since it, it kind of has the full, the full tool at the back. And it kind of gives you support also for your, your, your chest area. So even when you and have it gives a big, you a lift. Yes. See. So even when you have a bigger bust, it's 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 okay because it won't pop out mm. and you'll still be feel very comfortable. Mm. It will be simple. I I must say it won't be so blingy and all, but mm. it, it will be simple. But yes, you can get a very, very beautiful dress at a very fair price. Well guys, you hard you can get your dresses from Bolero Couture. Yeah. Well, that's all we had time for on the Style Project. I hope you learned a thing or two. If you're getting married and you want tips, make sure you come to the NTV Style Project and we can provide you tips. Be sure to follow us on our Instagram, Facebook and Twitter handles. Until then.
Thank you. Hi. Thank you so much. Ooh. For having me. Thank you, my next bride. No. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to your quick trick this week. My name is Claire Chatari and today I'm going to take you through the bridal quick trick in regards to nails. I know sometimes you're running up and down, you're trying to push up with everything that's going around with your wedding and you cannot do your nails in time. Here is the coolest thing ever. I have these easy to stick on nails. All you just have to do, there is always a prep pepper that has a nail remover. There's a small filer and the nails. So you clean your nails. File them in case they are too long. Get out your easy to stick on nails. All you need to do is just peel and stick because they already have their own glue. The best part about these nails is that they already come designed to any of your favorite color. Could it be purple if your maids are wearing purple dresses? Yellow, green, beige. They come in all sorts of colors. Ta-da! And you're ready for your wedding. That is your quick trick for the wedding trip. My name is Claire Chatare. Thanks for watching.